Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. So we are starting uh, session number three. Um, today we are going to continue with the topic that we were developing yesterday. Uh, we were talking about use two. And now we are going to continue with that topic because in the uh, lesson that we were um, Listening uh, yesterday, we were talking about just the uh, structure for affirmative uh, sentences. So now we are going to continue with that uh, topic. We are going to end the topic of used to because we are talking about the past. And also we are talking about um, the activities that we were uh, making when we were kids. So we are going to... Uh, uh, make a review of the structure about um, uh, sentences. Then we are going to have some examples. Then we are going to have uh, another structures and also we are going to have an exercise. We are going to answer some questions about um, the past. In some cases, um, in this kind of questions, it is not like, um, we have to uh, answer just with our information. Um, we have some questions that has uh, another information about the past, and it is not always uh, related to our background, it's just for general information. And we are going to have that kind of question because we need to know how to answer that questions. So we are going to have that uh, exercise in which we are going to think about the answer that we are going to give to that questions. So we are going to continue with the structure of used to. So let's see the screen because we have here the information that we were uh, learning uh, yesterday. So let me have this here and this one here. So this is the information that we have about the uh, topic used to. We were saying that um, it's to talk about past habits. Uh, it to refers to something that you did regular uh, that, that you did um, in the past, but now you don't do this action anymore. And we had some examples in which we were uh, seeing the uses of this structure. So also we were talking about the structure to uh, write sentences in a past using this structure. And we had that we just need four elements for this structure. We need the pronoun or the subject. We need to use this structure that is used to. Then we need a verb and then we need the details or complements. So we have the structure and now we are going to write some examples. We have there are some examples about it, the structure, but now we are going to create another examples to um, understand better the uh, structure that we are using for affirmative sentences. Esta es la información que ya teníamos del used to, que es para las eh, oraciones afirmativas. Vamos a ver algunos ejemplos sobre eh, esta estructura. Luego vamos a ver la estructura para los negativos. Después vamos a ver eh, unas preguntas y vamos a responder nosotros unas preguntas en el ejercicio. So we are going to continue with this part of the eh, affirmative sentences using this structure. So we have some examples. 
And we have here the following examples. Let me put like this. So we have the first one. I used to be weak. I used to be weak. Solía ser débil. That is the uh, translation into Spanish. Then I used to be very strong. That's another uh, uh, sentence. I used to be very strong. Solía ser muy fuerte. Then we have another one. She used to be fit. And then we have another one that is like the contrary of these sentences. We have, she used to be fat. Then we have another example. He used to be shy. He used to be shy. And the last one, he used to be polite used to be polite. And we have our examples and they are very simple because in this case, we are just creating simple sentences. We are not creating long, long sentences because these ones are very short and are very simple. So now we have the structure for the positive uh, sentences. Now we are going to talk about the negative. We are going to write the structure for the negative sentences and some examples for that structure. So we have the negative and we have the structure. So for the structure, we need first the pronoun plus didn't. We are going to use the auxiliary did with the not didn't or did not. Didn't, and we are going to use the structure used to, but in this case, we are going to have the complement and we are going to have the question mark. I, I mean, we are not using question mark, right? Uh, so we have the uh, structure. I, you, he, she, and it. We and they. We have our pronouns. That is the first thing that we are going to use, the pronouns. But also we can use names. Uh, in this case, when we uh, feel better writing the names, it is not necessary to use the pronouns. This is just the example um, about how to create this kind of sentences. But in, in real life, we are going to use the name of the people. But in this case, we are just using the pronouns. Then we are going to write, didn't, Used to. Didn't use to. And didn't use to. Then we are going to uh, write the complement. Ah, okay, okay, don't worry. Well, then we have, in this case, we have the complement with the verb. We are going to add a verb in this space. So we are going to write, I didn't use to play soccer. Yo no solía jugar soccer o fútbol o balompié. Then, you didn't use to swim in the ocean. No solías nadar en el océano. Then he or she or it 
didn't use to ride a bike. Ella o él o eso o ello no solían eh, andar en bicicleta o montar una bicicleta. We and they didn't use to create a website. No solían ellos, ¿verdad? O nosotros no solíamos crear un sitio web. So, this is the structure for the negative. It's almost the same with the positive structure. Just in this case, we are using the auxiliary D. Because in this case, we are using it in past because we are talking about past. All the topics that we are developing in this uh, week are talking about past. In this case, we are not talking about present or future. We are um, beginning the course with the past structure uh, because we are uh, talking about background. We are going to talk about uh, past habits. We are going to talk about all of the things that happened in the past. So remember, we are talking about just the past, not the present and not the uh, future. So we have some examples, more. And we have, I didn't use to read horror books. I didn't use to I didn't use to read horror books. No solía leer libros de horror. Next, we have, you didn't use to live here. And then we have, she didn't use to like romantic music. She didn't like, used to like romantic music. So that's all for the, uh, the, the structures. We have the affirmative and we have the negative. Now we are going to um, talk about questions because we are going to see the structure for the questions. And also we are going to answer some uh, questions. Like I was saying that in this case, I have some questions that are using the structure. But in some cases, um, these questions are talking about the past. Maybe in some cases it's a long, long time ago. So when you hear that kind of questions, you can um, imagine that answer. So it is not like, it is related to your life. In some cases, it is not. Because in this case, it's just for practice. Eh, vamos a hacer un ejercicio de preguntas. Hay algunas preguntas que tienen que ver con cosas del pasado eh, que tal vez no tienen que ver con nuestra eh, vida cotidiana, pero que la vamos a utilizar a modo de práctica. Just in that eh, case, we are going to create our answer. Now we are going to talk about the structure of the question first. So for this part that we are going to see uh, today is this objective. Because now we are going to talk about uh, the questions. So it says, build English conversion, conversional skills with the phrase used to, which you can use to describe your childhood or past. By the end of this class, you will be able to form questions, statements, negative and short answer with use to. Learn English phrases like, we have some examples of questions. What sport did you use to play when you were a kid? It's talking about the kind of sport that we like uh, to play when we were kids. Then, did you use to collect things when you were a child? And the third one, what did you use to do for fun when you were a kid? 
So in that case, we are going to learn how to create that kind of uh, structures or uh, questions to ask people about their, um, their past habits or their uh, past uh, information or uh, memories in that case. So we have the uh, structure for the questions. Let's see. Questions. And we have the structure. Remember that we are uh, working with a structure because it's better for us to remember how to create sentences. So we have, let me see, I'm going to do it like this. Five, five and three, like this. So we have here, this table in which we are going to um, divide the uh, structure. We have first the uh, auxiliary. In this case, we are going to begin with the auxiliary. We are not um, going to begin with the WH because in that case, we are going to talk about the WH questions uh, after this one. So we have did, then we have the pronoun, then we have the verb used to, the verb, and the complement. In this uh, structure, I want to uh, tell you something about the structure. If you can notice something about the structure that we are uh, reading in the objective, I don't know if you have noticed this. Uh, when you are using this one, I make a mistake in the previous examples. Why? Because I want to explain that mistake with the examples. We have this one. And we have this one. And also we have another one here here. If you can see, we have here the structure, the used to. What is something different in this structure? Is the, uh, the form of the structure. We are not using the past in this one. Why? Because we are using the auxiliary did. We are going to mark in another color in this one. Here we have the auxiliary D. So when you are using this structure, the uh, word that you are using in the past, it is not going to be in past. Si estamos utilizando el auxiliar did, en este caso, que nos hace y nos demuestra que estamos utilizando el pasado, nosotros, nuestra estructura, nuestro verbo, nuestro eh, auxiliar que vamos a utilizar, ya no lo vamos a poner en pasado. Ahora, aquí, si ustedes se, se fijan o se percataron, yo lo dejé en pasado siempre. This one. This one and this one. And also the previous one. Why? Because I wanted to explain that with examples. Quería explicárselos mejor con los ejemplos para que vieran las diferencias. So, in this case, this one is incorrect. Also, this one is incorrect because it is in past, but I am using the structure for the past in the auxiliary. So in these ones, I have to change the structure. So they are incorrect because I am using the auxiliary. So I need to change this and take that out. Okay. In this case, I don't need to write used 
with the D at the end. Just like this. En eso sí vamos a tener eh, cuidado. Por eso lo dejaba así. Eh, para que veamos que si ya tenemos el auxiliar que nos denota que está en pasado, ya nuestro próximo verbo ya no se tiene que poner en pasado. Y nos vamos a fijar porque a veces nos enfocamos solo en escribir y no nos estamos fijando en cómo lo hacemos. So, in that case, it is just a reminder. So, like in the questions, I have my um, structure here and I have the auxiliary that is in past. So, I need to write the use in present. So we are going to write did and did to begin the question. Then I have the pronoun. In this case, we are going to use you in both. You. Then use in present. Use to and use, use to. And then we have the verb play and run. And we have the complement, soccer, with the question mark, and then a lot, with the question mark. The first question said, did you use to play soccer? Solías jugar fútbol? And the second one, did you use to run a lot? Solías correr mucho? That is the structure when we are using the uh, auxiliary did. But if you can see in the examples that we have in the objective, we have the WH words that we can create questions with that structure too. So we have some examples more. Let's see. We have the examples. Let me do it like this. And we have the first one. Beginning with, we, with did, did you use to live in Liberia? In this case, we are going to see the way to answer that question. Vamos a ver cómo se responde esa pregunta. Did you used to live in Liberia? Solías vivir en Liberia? Y la respuesta in this case is yes. Yes, but now I live in Santa Cruz. Yes, but now I live in Santa Cruz. And we have another one. Did you use to play soccer? Solías jugar fútbol. And also we have a yes answer. Yes, but I have a I have a job now. Sí, pero ahora tengo un trabajo. So, remember that in this case, we are talking about past habits and now we can um, keep doing that action. So in that case, it's just a memory that we did something like that in the past. So, I'm going to write the uh, questions. Voy a escribir las preguntas. Y las vamos a leer. We are going to read the questions. We are going to understand what are they uh, trying to ask. And then uh, I will give you time to think about the answer or the possible answers that you can um, give to that, uh, to that questions. And after that, uh, we are going to give answers. I will ask you, a G question that I am going to write right now. Voy a escribir las preguntas. Le voy a dar tiempo para que las analicen, para que piensen en una respuesta. Después de cierto tiempo, les voy a ir preguntando a cada uno de ustedes una de esas preguntas que van a estar ahí. So, I'm going to write the uh, questions right now. 
So we have the exercise and we have the following questions. In this case, using the used to. So let's begin. You can uh, think about the, the, the answer right now while I am writing the questions. So we have the number one. So we have the first one and it says, what did you use to watch when you were a kid? ¿Qué solías ver cuando eras pequeño? In this case, it's talking about a television or it's talking about um, cartoons or something like that. Then number two, what did you use to do when you went a student? Number three, what did you use to do when you were a student? ¿Qué solías hacer cuando eras estudiante? Some activities that you did in the past, um, maybe homeworks, maybe uh, all of the things that you did when you were a student. Number three, what kind of work did you used to do? ¿Qué tipo de trabajo solías hacer? Number four. Mm, in this case, is how did you, how did you use to travel? ¿Cómo solías viajar? Uh, in this case, is maybe talking about when you were a student, how, do, how did you uh, use to travel to that place in which you were um, studying. Then number five, how did you use to have fun? Como solías divertirte? Number six, How did you use to communicate with friends before the internet? How did you use to communicate with friends before the internet? ¿Cómo solías comunicarte con tus amigos antes de el internet? Then we have number seven. How did you use to entertain yourself before there were video games? In the case, you play video games. And number eight, what music did people listen to in the 90s and, and 2000s? Do it like this. Then we have another one and it says, what game did you used to play when you were a little kid?
So we have, what game did you use to play when you were a little kid? ¿Qué juego eh, solían jugar cuando eran pequeños? What did you use to watch on TV when you were a little kid? ¿Qué solían ver en la televisión cuando eran pequeños? Did your parents used to go on dates before they got eh, married? Eh, Sus padres solían eh, ir a, a citas antes de casarse. Then we have, how did people used to entertain themselves without phones and computers? How did people use to entertain themselves without phones and computers? ¿Cómo solía divertirse las personas o entretenerse a sí mismos sin los teléfonos y sin las computadoras? Did your parents draw patties when you were a little kid? Or teenager? Solían sus padres realizar eh, este tipo de fiestas infantiles, ¿verdad? Cuando eran niños o adolescentes. Did you used to spend time with friends when you were a teenager? Solían eh, pasar tiempo con sus amigos cuando eran adolescentes. How did children used to play video games before the internet exists? How did children Eh, ¿Cómo solían los, los niños, verdad, jugar videojuegos antes de que el internet existiera? In this case, it is not like we are going to talk about uh, that a long, long time. We also can uh, think about the time in which we don't have the access for the internet because it was like very exclusive. So in that case, we can think about that moment in uh, the history in which We don't have the access to internet, uh, but because uh, it's just for some uh, specific people, but uh, how the children used to play the video games before they have the access for the internet. Because uh, nowadays it's uh, very easy to have a connection, but at that time it was very, very difficult. Then, how did people get news from around the world when they didn't have a television? How did people get news? How did people get news from around the world when they didn't have a television? ¿Cómo solían las personas eh, obtener las noticias del mundo cuando no tenían un televisor? We are almost done with the questions. 
So we have just four more, just four questions more. How did you use to spend How did you use to spend time with your family when you were young? ¿Cómo solían pasar el tiempo con su familia cuando eran más jóvenes? Then, how did people use to meet new friends before social networking at sites like Facebook? ¿Cómo solían ser la, las personas, verdad, para conocer amigos nuevos antes de que existieran las redes sociales, así como Facebook? How did people used to travel for a vacation before modern transportation exists? ¿Cómo solían hacer las personas para transportarse o para viajar para las vacaciones antes de que existiera el transporte moderno? And the last one. How did you use to watch your favorite TV shows before Netflix? ¿Cómo solías ver tus programas favoritos de televisión antes de Netflix? It is not like all the people are using Netflix in this time, but it is just like a reference of the, um, the way in which we can uh, see our TV shows. That is very, very easy because we have all on that platform, but it is not necessary to think about that the use of Netflix. We have another kind of websites in which we can have this kind of um, TV shows. Let me uh, change this because I need to have all the questions in one uh, page. Because I need you to look all of the questions or maybe most of them. Because now we have you are going to have uh, some time in which you are going to think about uh, the answer for these questions. Then I will uh, ask you these questions and you are going to give your answer. Van a tener tiempo para leerlos, pensar en su respuesta y luego vamos a contestar las preguntas. So you're going to have some time, right? Now. Teacher, excuse me. Tell me. Uh, I, I answers all the questions or uh, several questions? No, in this case, you are just uh, going to read the questions and you are going to have a, um, an idea. It is not like you are going to answer all of them. You are going to create an idea about the questions. Then when I uh, call your name, I will um, take one of the questions and I will read the question for you. So in that moment, you are going to give the answer that you think 
about that uh, statement that I am uh, asking you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.
teacher. Teacher. Tell me. Um, eh, perdón, voy a hablar en español. Yo, eh, el detalle es que yo, yo soy nuevo en, en mm. el curso. Um, yo tenía desde el 2005 que estudié en Prolingua. Eh, solo estudié seis niveles. Mm. Entonces el detalle es de que eh, yo pedí que, que cuando pedí el curso que me ayudaran en, para principiante, ¿verdad? Para, porque no me recuerdo bien de muchas cosas. Ahorita estoy así como que en las nubes. Mm -hmm. Entiendo algunas cosas, pero por ejemplo aquí está usando solo el verbo en pasado, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Entonces yo tengo que responderle, o sea, lo que yo hacía anteriormente, ahora se le tengo que decir de que eh, lo que hacía cuando era pequeño, pero el detalle es que no encuentro las expresiones como para poder decirle. Ok, eh, eh, don't worry, es, es bastante normal, que imagínese el tiempo, ¿verdad? En el que eh, había comenzado a estudiar y es normal que hay cosas que se nos olvidan. En este caso, como estamos hablando de acciones que se realizaban en el pasado, eh, por ejemplo, vamos a tomar alguna de las preguntas. Um, what did you use to do when you were a student? ¿Qué solía hacer cuando era estudiante? Lo que va a usar usted para responder es I used to. Va siempre a utilizar el used to, que es la estructura que hemos estado estudiando. I used to eh, play soccer with my friends. Yo solía jugar fútbol con mis amigos. I used to eh, go to the house of my best friend. Iba a la casa de mi mejor amigo. I used to play video games all day. Jugaba eh, videojuegos todo el día. Pero va a utilizar el I used to. Luego de haber puesto el I used to, así como hacemos con las oraciones afirmativas, va a poner un verbo, la acción que usted realizaba, eh, dependiendo ¿verdad? de la pregunta que tenga. Y okay. así es como la va a responder. Ok, gracias, gracias. You're welcome. So, I think it's time to answer those questions. Creo que es tiempo de responder las preguntas. Don't worry if you have, like, um, troubles answering the uh, questions. We are learning, we are practicing. It's a practice in which you are going to try to answer those questions. So you will have time. It is not like I am going to give the, the question and you need to answer right now. So you will have time to put your ideas into words. Van a tener tiempo para poner todas sus ideas en palabras, ¿verdad? Don't worry for that. So let me see. I have here the list and I will choose. Let me see, let me see who is the first person to answer that questions. So let's see. From the beginning of or the last one. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I have Maida. 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 I think Mayra is not ready. Next one, Manuel. Yes. Hello. Okay, let's ah. see. Vamos a ver qué pregunta. Mm. Okay. Did you use to spend time with friends when you were a teenager? Solía eh, pasar tiempo con sus amigos cuando era adolescente? Yes, I use I use time with my friends. Okay. I, I used to I I used to uh -huh. time with my friends. I spend time with uh, your friends. Yes. Okay, that's good. Perfect. Thank you. Let's see. From the beginning, I have Francisco. Francisco, hello. It's your time. Hello, hello. 
Okay, let's see. Next one. Uh, let me see. How did you use to spend time with your family when you were young? ¿Cómo solía pasar el tiempo con su familia cuando era joven? I use near. Perdón, ir, eh, oír, ¿verdad? Ir, How? oír, oír. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. Perdón, excuse me. Eh, I use, eh, I used to listen music. Okay. Music, eh, play with my friends. Oh, or good. Read books. Oh, perfect. Yes. Okay. That's it. I think, yes. Okay. Thank you. That's good. Let's see. Alba. Hello, teacher. Hello. Let's see. Let me see what is your question. How did you used to travel in the past? ¿Cómo solía viajar usted? Thank you for asking me. Um, I used I used to travel on bus. Ah, that's good. Yeah, you used to but, travel on bus. But uh -huh. yes, but now, thanks God, I have a car. Oh, that's very very good. It's a good or a great improvement. Thank you for your answer. Thank you. Let's see, Alejandra. Hi, teacher. Hello, let's see. Mm, what game did you use to play when you were a little kid? ¿Qué juego solía jugar cuando usted era pequeña? Well, I used to play Mika. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> With my friends. That's good. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Jessica. Jessica. Okay, let's see next one. Marvin. Hello. Hello. Let's see. What did you used to watch on TV when you were a little kid? ¿Qué solía ver en la televisión cuando era pequeño? I used to watch a uh, messenger set. Okay. Okay, that's good. Good, good. Thank you. Thank you. Dude. Let's see. Rafael Antonio. Present. Okay, this is the question. How did people get news from around the world when they didn't have a television? ¿Cómo solían las personas ten, obtener las noticias del mundo antes de tener la televisión? Uh, we used to know some news in a newspaper. Oh, good. Uh, or sometimes uh, uh, on the radio. Ah, perfect. That's good. They have the newspaper and the radio. Thank you. Let's see. We have time for, I guess, some more questions. A ver, Veronica. Hi, teacher. Hello. Let's see. How did you used to have fun? ¿Cómo solía divertirse en el pasado? Uh, 
I used to play with my friend in ah. the street. Oh, that's good. You used to play in the street with your friends. Thank you. Let's see, Imelda. Hello. Hello, let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, how did you use to communicate with friends before the internet? ¿Cómo solía comunicarse con sus amigos antes de el acceso eh, fácil que tenemos ahora al internet? Well, I used to talking in person or calling by home phone. Ah, that's good. Thank you. And we have, I think, almost the last one. We are not going to ask all the questions. We are going to um, almost end the session. So let's see. Um, Rodrigo. Ah, I have two. Rodrigo Daniel. Yes, teacher. Hello. Did you hear me? Um, kind of. Okay. Un poco, un poco. But I think I can hear your voice. So let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Mm -hmm. Okay, how did people used to entertain themselves without phones and computers? ¿Cómo solían las personas entretenerse sin los celulares y las computadoras? Mm, they go to the park and pass. Uh, well, they make picnics or go to play there. Oh, okay. To ride that's a good. bike, something like that. Uh -huh, okay, that's good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we have this, uh, all of these questions, and you are going to have all of these in this document. Tomorrow is the last session for this week. So imagine that we are going to end at the first week, uh, the first week very, very fast. Vamos a terminar casi la semana. Ya mañana es eh, la sesión número cuatro. El tiempo vuela. Así que mañana les estaré compartiendo lo que es el enlace para este documento, donde ustedes van a ir viendo toda la información que ya recibimos esta semana y van a ir viendo los objetivos para las próximas sesiones. So, you are not going to download anything. You are going to have a free access for this document uh, whenever you want. And you will have these examples here if you want to uh, see all the information. Tell me, Francisco. Teacher, uh, these questions uh, who, who sent to the WhatsApp group? Tell me. Podría enviar esas preguntas al grupo de WhatsApp? Yes, I will send uh, the question. Las voy a mandar individuales. Esas sí las puedo mandar en una imagen para que las tengan, las tengan ahí. Se las voy a mandar más tarde. Okay. okay, gracias. You're welcome. So, now it's time to end. Vamos a quedarnos hasta acá. We are going to see each other tomorrow in the session number four. So, have a really good night. Good night. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Night, see you tomorrow. Good night. See you. night, see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.